Welcome to e-commerce uh, business technology and society, the new e-commerce uh, lecturers built in 2015 from Foreign Trade University. From 1995 to 2015, over 20 years, we have seen a lot of e-commerce development. In 1994, 1994, e-commerce, as we know, did not exist. In, 19, in 2013, less than 20 years later, around 115 million American consumers are expected to spend about 419 billion US dollars, and businesses more than 4.8 trillion, means 4.4 hundred and four thousand billion US dollars online, purchasing goods and services online via Uh, computers and um, communication network. Uh, the early years of e-commerce during the late 1990s, exactly 1994, 1995, were a period of business vision, inspiration, and experimentation. It soon became apparent, however, that establishing a successful business model based on those visions would not be easy. So e-commerce is not easy commerce. We see 2000 and 2001 failures of loss of Uh, e-commerce companies, but uh, from 2002 to 2008, so the second wave of e-commerce grows more than 25% a year. We see, uh, we have seen a lot of uh, successful and uh, failures in e-commerce. After the bubble burst, uh, many people were quick to uh, rechange change their e-commerce models, and uh, they grow to 25%. Per year today, we are in the middle of uh, another transition, another uh, development of e-commerce. A new of uh, not B 2 B, B 2 C, and C 2 C anymore is uh, expand to social, mobile, and local motor e-commerce, growing alongside traditional e-commerce retails. So we see Amazon.com, Dell, eBay, and now we have seen uh, social network sites such as Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Pinterest which enable users to distribute their own content such as video, music, photos, personal information, blogs, and software application. So we've seen the e-commerce development over 20 years. And now we see the, we look at the major trends of e-commerce 2013 and 2014. Uh, retaining e-commerce continue to grow at 15% per year. Social e-commerce grows at Uh, five from five to eight uh, billions U.S. dollar in United States and eight billions around the world. Mobile retail exports reaching forty billion U.S. dollar, and now we see local uh, commerce estimated at four point four billion U.S. dollar. Facebook uh, continue to grow with more than one point one billion users. Twitter grows more than two hundred active users. 200 million active users and also we see the development of search engine marketing. The number of people's ownages online in the United States continue to increase to an estimated of 240 million, although the rate of growth is slowing. The, population, the global population using the internet continue to expand over 2.5 billion, nearly 40% of the whole world population with around Uh, exactly more more exactly three thirty three percent of the world's population online now through computers and mobile devices online businesses continue to strengthen profitability by refining their business model and leveraging the capabilities of internet uh, the breadth of e-commerce offer offering growth especially in entertainment retail apparel luxury goods appliances and home furnishing Uh, small businesses and entrepreneurs continue to flood into e-commerce marketplace, often riding the infrastructure created by industry giants such as Apple, Facebook, Amazon, Google, and eBay. Brand extension through the internet continues to grow as large firms such as Walmart and Target pursue integrated multi-channel brick-and-click uh, strategies. And also we see the uh, B2B e-commerce in United States continue to strengthen and grow beyond 4.7 trillion mark, uh, so 90% of uh, the whole world e-commerce uh, is accounts for B2B and the other 10% by B2C and C2C and the other model of uh, e-commerce. So what is e-commerce? We can uh, have a narrow definition of e-commerce as the use of internet and the web and application to transact business 
more formally digitally enabled uh, commercial transaction between and among organizations and individuals. So we can see that uh, from Amazon, uh, first uh, one of the first uh, and successful e-business models so we have uh, set up the website to sell online is just the top of the iceberg uh, the e-commerce uh, can be um, selling and buying products and services through the communication network and electronic devices to the web and internet and now it expands the whole uh, business processes around business so we can uh, identify the differences uh, between e-commerce and uh, e-business. E-business is the digital enabling of transactions and processes within a firm involving information system under the control of the firm. So e-business focuses more on management side and running a business uh, with the application of ICT in uh, business activities uh, on the processes within the firms, including the information system to have the control and manage and run the firm and e-commerce more focus on the market uh, side of the firm how to transact with customer and e-business focus more on the operating the business uh, more focus on suppliers and internal internal processes inside a firm so e-commerce and e-business have a uh, common processes that is a uh, business itself and e-business focus more on, more on management and running a firm and if e-commerce focus more on doing commerce a transaction with customer and the market side so we can see the eight key features of e-commerce e-commerce has eight key unique features from ubiquity global reach universal standards of social technology uh, personalization customization and also information density interactivity and reach is uh, uh, the features uh, itself reflects the benefits and also the characters of e-commerce so we can look at ubiquity uh, because internet and web technology is available to everyone everywhere at work at home and elsewhere via mobile devices anytime so the marketplace is extended beyond traditional boundaries and re removed from temporal and geographic location Marketplace is created, shopping can take place anywhere, so ubiquity means everywhere customer uh, convenience is enhanced and shopping costs are reduced to customer with a computer and a mobile devices, uh, 3G and internet connection can buy products and services uh, from anywhere, so ubiquity is the most uh, outstanding feature of e-commerce. And also we have global reach, the second most popular feature of e-commerce. The technology reaches across national boundaries around the earth. Commerce is enabled across uh, cultural and national boundaries uh, seamlessly and without modification. Commerce now can, uh, the market now can expand the global with the expand of internet. Internet is no boundaries, no geographical boundaries uh, means anymore. Of course, we still have custom uh, and uh, national uh, policy, but the market, uh, in terms of market, uh, the product and services can expand to uh, expand globally. Marketplace uh, now become market space uh, includes a potential uh, uh, billions of consumers around the world and millions of business around the world can buy and sell things through the e-commerce through the web and internet. The next uh, feature of e-commerce is universal standard. Uh, there is uh, one set of technology standards, uh, namely internet standard uh, e-commerce. Uh, appears uh, maybe dozens of uh, or decades before, but uh, we only think about e-commerce and e-commerce only counts for an important become real importance of the world of business uh, until the internet uh, is public for uh, people around the world. Everyone can use the internet, not the scientific, not the military anymore. So there is a common inexpensive and global technology foundation for businesses to use that is the uh, internet. Richness uh, is the fourth uh, feature of e-commerce. Uh, video, audio, and text messages are possible through uh, to try to transfer around the world with very low cost uh, and uh, very high speed, uh, if not to say instantly. So uh, video, audio, and text marketing messages become important and easy to deliver and advertise to consumer. They are integrated into single marketing messages uh, and uh, enhance uh, improve uh, 
uh, customer experience of uh, new products and services around the world. And so we have the richness of information, easy to market and easy to do the marketing around the global. Interactivity is the next uh, key feature of uh, e-commerce. Uh, technology works through interaction with the users. Consumers are engaged uh, in dialogue that dynamically adjusts uh, the experience to the individual and makes the consumer a co-participant in the process of delivering goods to the market. Uh, so now customer and buyers and intermediaries can interact through internet uh, instantly around the world without the time boundaries. Uh, from Israel, we can buy the product from the United States and vice versa. Information density is the sixth uh, feature of e-commerce. The technology reduces the information cost and raises quality. Information processing, storage, and communication costs drop dramatically while currency accuracy and timeliness improve uh, greatly. Information becomes plentiful, cheap, uh, and accurate. Uh, customer can access uh, product information and services information around the world. Comparing to the website through different by uh, sellers make customer more power to select the best uh, product and services. Also, personalization or customization becomes the key feature, the, the seven key features of e-commerce. Uh, the technology allows the personalized messages to be delivered to individuals as well as groups. Uh, uh, product and services can be customized through analyzing or data mining. Uh, so buyers uh, uh, can order the specific products and also the sellers can uh, customize and modify the marketing messages, changing the product to fit uh, different groups or in group of buyers or, or individual customer. We can see Amazon.com as an example. They can offer exactly or nearly exact uh, you know, product uh, books uh, that fit the interest of buyers based on the history or the background of uh, customer information. And also uh, social technology is the last uh, the eight um, features of e-commerce uh, is a social technology user content generation and social networks uh, uh, over the years, uh, recent years, uh, the development of uh, uh, social networks uh, integrate the new or evolve, evolve, uh, create the new forms of e-commerce as social commerce. Uh, new internet social and business models enable users to create content and distribution and support social networks. So the content is not only from the publisher, it's from the community around the world, from users around the world that create uh, the world of content, that uh, also sharing and integrate, uh, interact, uh, interacting create the new form of uh, e-commerce transaction. So we go through the uh, overview, the eight key features of e-commerce. And now we look at the, the major ties of e-commerce, B2B, B2C, business to business, business to consumer, and also C2C with the eBay, with the Amazon, with the Alibaba.com, we have C2C, the eBay. And after 20 years, we have social and, more, and mo mobile and local commerce. From B2C, uh, business to consumer, one of the most popular e-commerce more than 20 years before with Amazon is the key player and now still the key player of the world in uh, retailing online Amazon.com is a general merchandiser that sells consumer products to retail retail retail, retail consumers with the uh, objective to become the world largest online bookstore and change to the world largest online store that sells everything around the world and we have B2B business to consumer with the most popular of Alibaba.com from China, where thousands and dozens of thousand key manufacturers of the world located in China and sharing information around the world. So business can go to Alibaba.com to order and also business come to advertise for buying and selling among businesses around the world. And also we have C2C consumer to consumers uh, on a large number of auction sites such as eBay, that customer or individual can come and list uh, anything they like to sell, to sell and also uh, uh, auction for the best prices for the seller. We also have uh, size, uh, listing size such as a uh, correct list uh, that consumer can come in and offer to sell uh, directly to the other consumer. So eBay, correct list uh, play as an um, intermediary that an, any individual can become the buyer and seller. Uh, in the uh, e-commerce world of C2C. Uh, that is three 
uh, most popular and uh, traditional e-commerce model. And now we have uh, three more uh, recent uh, model e e-commerce model like social e-commerce. Facebook is both the leading social network and social e-commerce site. Uh, M commerce uh, or mobile commerce, uh, mobile device, uh, devices with a smartphone development in the last five years or ten years uh, with the development of 3G, we can use a tablet, a mobile phone to access internet anywhere and smartphone can be used to conduct commercial transactions. So we have a mobile commerce with a mobile application to make the buying and selling more easily, more conveniently for the consumer. And local e-commerce. Group Home offers subscribers daily deal from local businesses in the form of group homes. Discount coupons that take effect once enough subscribers have agreed to the purchase with the location we can uh, find the nearest or um, most um, close closest uh, restaurant for example to go with the uh, very very uh, bargainable prices and also we can see the number to see the portion of the shares of social mobile and local commerce local commerce around 4.4 billion US dollar when social is nearly a little bit higher with 5 billion US dollar and mobile commerce 40 40 billion US dollar and C2C transaction 90 billion US dollar and B2C 419 is a very small portion to B2B because uh, one transaction between business and businesses is much higher volume than any other but uh, we should notice that um, on the right hand side the particip participation of individual and small businesses make the e-commerce world more exciting so if you have uh, a look at um, a look at uh, a traditional retail market of the United States uh, with three over 3.8 uh, trillion 3,800 million US billion US dollars we have B2C market uh, online e-commerce retail at uh, 259 billion US dollars so we see uh, the comparison so that uh, a lot of rooms for e-commerce developed over the years the data suggests that over the next Next five years, B2C e-commerce in the United States will grow at 14% annually, much faster than traditional retail sales. Um, today, for instance, B2C e retail e-commerce is still a very small part, around 6.7% over on a 3 or eight uh, trillion US uh, trillion US dollar retail market in the United States. Uh, uh, so. Um, uh, there is obviously much room for for e-commerce to grow for online sales we also uh, see the share of online retail sales by type of company so we have retail chain you have web only companies get a local center and consumer brand manufacturer consumer brand manufacturers uh, used to be key players but now we can see the larger portion of web only companies accounts for 42.3 percent and also retail churns they also join sell online with 34.9 percent if um, uh, e-commerce has created many opportunities for everyone to go online to buy something uh, we see the development of e-commerce E-commerce has not driven, not only not not driven existing retail sales and catalog merchants out of business. It, uh, it brings them a huge opportunity so that they can take uh, advantages of traditional experience and channels, and also join the new opportunities from online website to uh, promote them further their traditional business. The vision of many entrepreneurs and venture capitalists for e-commerce have not uh, materialized exactly as they predicted before. First mover advantage appear to have succeeded only for a very small group of size. E-commerce, uh, only pure e-commerce, pure selling online face the, difficult, face the difficulties in their distribution. Historically, first movers have been long-term losers with the early to market innovator usually being displaced by, by established fast follower so traditional companies still have their advantages uh, if they have the right um, 
support from my financial, marketing, legal, production, assets, even the warehousing and other fulfillment of traditional company uh, join e-commerce uh, and gain the advantage in long term. Many e-commerce first movers like e-toys, um, web vans uh, are our business nowadays. Customer acquisition and retention costs during the early years of e-commerce were extraordinarily high uh, with some firms such as e-trade and other financial firms paying up to 400 US dollars to acquire a new customer alone can cost 400 400 US dollars. The overall cost of doing business online including the cost of technology, the site design, website design and maintenance and also warehouse for order fulfillment are often no lower than the cost faced by the most efficient brick and, uh, and mortar store. So a large warehouse costs tens of millions of dollars regardless of a firm's online or offline presence. So e-commerce still needs a huge investment. The knowledge, to run, the knowledge of how to run the warehouse is uh, priceless and not easy, easily moved. Uh, the startup costs can be staggering. Attempting to achieve or enhance profitability by raising prices has often led to large customer defection. Uh, for example, you can see from the case of Netflix. Uh, so um, we can conclude that uh, e-commerce in, in the, the ter e in e-commerce is not easy as uh, we taught uh, 20 years before. So we move to the new topic. So what can be sold online? What can be sold online? From the screen, you can see lots of things that can be successfully sold online, right? Um, figure as a figure so that uh, um, so many things can be can be sold online from uh, jewelry specialty food beverage uh, office uh, equipment books music videos auto parts uh, computers uh, and electronics uh, apparel accessories we also see household furniture toys and hobby health beauty hardware, home improvement, sporting goods, and flower grips, so all of them can account for a uh, larger or smaller part of e-commerce. So go online and start doing e-commerce can bring the benefits for traditional and also pure uh, online sellers. It's uh, just enough for the first introduction of e-commerce and now you can have fun time, a movie time, you can join and log in the YouTube channel a uh, special online e-commerce created in 2012 and see the series of movie about Amazon.com, Dell, Alibaba, three most popular and um, key player in e-commerce. Also, we look at the Facebook, Google and Walmart. Uh, Facebook and Google is a uh, pure e-commerce, but uh, uh, Walmart is a traditional brick and click. So we enjoy your time. Thank you for watching.